everybody. My name is Joe Coppler, and I'm a freelance artist from Torrington, Connecticut. For the last nine years, I've been creating these sculptured paintings, as you see on my wall. I'm talking to you from my Torrington, Connecticut art gallery. It's in my basement. And let me give you an idea what sculptured paintings are all about. A lot of people ask me, are they canvas paintings? I said, no, I work on wood. And as you can see here, the balloon and the graduation cap are sculpted. I have a little skin of the material, which I call Durabon. You can pick it up at any hardware store. And I sculpt everything wet, and then I go ahead and I prime it, and then I paint it with acrylics. Now behind me here is Abbey Road. If you're a Beatles fan, you, I'm sure you've seen this thousands of times, but this 4x4 painting is sculpted. You can even feel the cigarette in Paul McCartney's hand. Now what I'm gonna try to teach you I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to try to do a painting for you guys, step by step, to give you an idea of what goes into one of these paintings. And this is what we're going to try to take on. I'm going to try to do, not a 4x4, four four, I have a 2x2 two two piece of wood that I'm going to try to do Sgt. Peppers on. As you can see, I don't have the room for another 4x4 four four Sgt. Peppers. So if there's some Beatles fans out there that got the money for this, definitely get a hold of me. But this is what we're going to try to take on. A 2x2 two two sculpted Sergeant Peppers. And for my gallery up front, this is the back of my gallery. First off, everything's created on wood. So as you can see, I got all different kinds of styles up here, different sizes. Okay, the piece that I have for the Sergeant Peppers, as I said, is a two by two, I believe it's, it looks like oak. Definitely get a couple of old shirts. I say, now this, this is what I suggest. This is, I'm just telling you what, what I do, you know, I'm telling you step by step. This is my ninth year doing this stuff, and I don't want to skip anything, especially if this is an informative uh, video. Okay, what I do is I take my piece of wood, square, rectangle, whatever you're trying to do, but we're going to try to do that album, Sgt. Pepper, so that's square. So this is a square piece. It's actually a little bigger than 24 by 24 because I want to mask off the edges and stuff. I'll explain that to you later. So first off, you want to you want to break down, grab yourself a block from a hardware store, and you want to break down the corners. Are broken down. You can run your hand over it to make sure. Okay. Once you get the corners broken down, I already did this a little bit earlier, so you'll probably be spending more time on your board. Once you get the corners broken down, the Durabond, the material that I use. It needs something to adhere to. So I sand both sides with a circular motion. I, I rough them up. Give them a little bit of pressure. But you gotta hit both sides. Because if your bond needs something roughed up to adhere to. And I, I've been doing this, like I said, since the beginning, and I don't wanna steer you guys wrong. I wanna have it framed. So I masked off a half inch border. This is a 25 by 25 inch piece of oak. I matched, masked off a half inch border on it because I'm going to have it framed later. Okay, now the material that we use, as I mentioned earlier, is Durabond. Durabond is a joint compound. It's in the joint compound family and it has a plasticizer additive in it. So when you mix it and it hardens, it's more durable than regular joint compounds mean that that's where they got the word Durabond. So it comes in powder form. It mixes with water. I, I try to keep a little five gallon bucket here. It comes in three different types. It comes in Durabond uh, 45, 90, and 120. And the different numbers are the different curing times. So here I'm using Durabond 90 because there's going to be a lot of detail in this Beatles cover as all of you know. So what you're looking for is the consistency of cake frosting, oatmeal, you know, something almost like a Dairy Queen ice cream cone. You know, you, you want it to have that little bit of a lip when it comes off your uh, spatula, your paint scraper. So this is almost there. I mixed a couple of these earlier because I don't want to spend the whole video here mixing this stuff. But I'm just trying to give you an idea. See, it's thickening up already. So you want to try to get all the lumps out of here. You make it nice and creamy. There's still a few lumps in there. 
and after you after you get all the lumps and it's kind of it's got that creamy texture to it then just like frosting a cake you want to get your batter going here and all you do is you just pour it out like this that's what you're looking for something like that kind of texture that consistency make sure you get it all out of there okay like I said I, I did a couple of buckets earlier because I know this is a big piece of wood that you got to cover. So whatever you could scrounge around. I'm using a fluff of nutter container here. Eighteen pound bags and uh, like I say, you just mix what you need. That's all because you know there's not too much waste when it comes to this stuff. All right, I got another cup here. Oh, it's starting to thicken up. That's why you wear dirty clothes. Okay, now I got a spatula over here, paint scraper. So what you want to do is just kind of move this stuff around like you're frosting a cake. Make sure you get it all the way up to your edges. Just to push it right up to the masking tape and give yourself an edge. And the reason I'm doing this, having this short video made, is to let people know that this is not your ordinary canvas painting. There's a lot more that goes into these sculpted paintings. But you want people to know that it's not a, it's not your flat canvas. You get it all laid out with your paint scraper and it looks pretty even. Then you just go and you, you pull off the masking tape and that should give you your, your beautiful edge. Okay, we at the next stage. Yesterday, I uh, you saw me pull off the masking tape. Once your Durabon is fully dry, now comes the drawings concept of this. As you see, we're doing Sergeant Peppers, as I told you, and you got to draw each character. I, I drew a little grid. I drew a grid, a two-inch grid on this board, and now I'm drawing each square individually. Okay. Uh, Last time I talked to you guys, um, I was drawing out Sergeant Peppers in pencil. As you can see, it's all done here. Your next step is to start sculpting it. I did the uh, the drum. As you can see, that's still a little wet. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to start just squirting out these heads that I have all drawn in pencil here. Put a little Durabon over where the head is. get this all sculpted and it's all dry you then hit it with a coat of white acrylic primer I, I already did that already so you can see I'm far farther ahead and once your white acrylic primer dries then you go in you paint all your detail to your photo Well, here's the finished product after about three weeks and after doing these sculpted paintings for about nine years I have to say this is the most time-consuming one. Hopefully you uh, artists out there will get some kind of an idea what goes into these things and hopefully you'll just you know, start one on your own. Uh, good luck. If anybody want to see any of my uh, some of my other sculpted work uh, head over to my SD shop which is Coppler Art at SD.com or like my uh, freelance artist page on Facebook, Joe Coppler slash freelance artist. Take care.